Welcome to part 11 of building the invoice management system. So in this video, we are doing the bootstrap stuff. I know I've been adding or I've been doing videos about bootstrap, but what I like to do is every single series that I'm doing, I like to do the entire videos and show you how to build it from start to finish. So this is just like any other bootstrap video I did, but just to make sure that I have a complete tutorial on how to build this app, I have to do the bootstrap again. Okay, but I'm gonna do a very quick one. I'm not gonna do the bootstrap without using the CDN. So this is gonna be the CDN version of it. Okay, so just to make it quick and to be able to integrate the bootstrap in our application, I'm using the CDN method. All right, so it's gonna be a quick video. All right, now we have to get the bootstrap links the cdn on this site okay i have the link right here we're gonna click it okay i'm gonna open it in a different window so now what we're gonna do is the first step i'm gonna pick or i'm gonna copy this bootstrap.min.css bootstrap.min.js we don't really need the js at this moment okay um but i'm just gonna pick the min.css file only okay or what i can do is i might i let, let's just pick both files so that when we're doing the javascript stuff the pop-ups and also the date pickers we don't have to come back here and copy the js files all right so i'm gonna copy the main.css and the js file okay so let's run the application okay i'm gonna open the app and see what we have so this is why we left from the last video all right so now what i'm gonna do is to open sublime and paste the code right in there good so i have the code right here so i'm gonna open the home page that's where i'm gonna paste the cdn right above the header i'm gonna right within the header i mean i'm gonna paste the line here okay so we're gonna create a style sheet link for our link element okay and paste the code right here i'm gonna save it okay now to test that the bootstrap is working fine what i'm gonna do is to create a button all right so let's refresh our page all right so it's like the bootstrap is taking effect because i can see that the font has changed okay now what we're gonna do is this we're gonna create a button right here i'm gonna create a btn or a button element and i'm gonna give it uh, a value of click me save it and then refresh so this is gonna be just a regular button now to start it using bootstrap to or to test that our bootstrap is working i'm gonna give it a btn or a bootstrap class a predefined class within this bootstrap domain css okay so i'm gonna say uh, btn or i'm gonna give it a class btn save it and do a refresh just with that simple code the button is redefined okay now to see the button clearly i'm gonna turn off this background i'm gonna go to the uh, statics and right in here i'm gonna um, comment that refresh this page again you can see we have the button still not clear but what we're gonna do next is to give it a color so i'm gonna say btn dash primary save it so that's gonna give it a blue color all right so you can see the bootstrap is actually working okay now um it is a fun looking uh button that is style using bootstrap so this one way of testing if bootstrap is working on your page or not I'm gonna do a little bit of um, coding on this. Uh, let's see how to uh, uh, do some columns and rows and columns, I mean. All right, so I'm gonna come here and then uh, create a div. And I'm gonna give it a class of row. Okay, so if you wanna know um, more about this bootstrap rows and column, I'm gonna suggest you watch my other bootstrap videos. I'm gonna do the link right here above on the upper right hand corner of this video 
so if you want to know more about the rows and columns please watch that video so i'm going to do a quick one on this other one all right so within the row i'm going to create two columns so the first column i'm going to give it six and the second column also will take another six okay so by default the row takes the entire space of the element that you're in so this one is in the body so it's going to take up the full width of the page so the row will be right from here all the way down here so if i split it into two that is giving six to each of the columns i'm going to split that page into two so we can have elements in the first half of the page and also in the second half of the page let's do that quick i'm going to do a div class i'm going to say column as sm that's six i'm going to close that We're gonna give that uh, let's say test one i'm gonna copy and paste and give that test two and that will also have six i'm gonna save it refresh the page voila you have test one here and test two here so i'm gonna style it a little bit better to make sure that these tests are rightly centered so i'm gonna go to css and create uh, a class before doing that i have to give this a class i'm gonna give this my own custom class i'm gonna call it my class that should be one word okay i'm gonna use the same class for both of them save it and then do a style right here dot my class i'm gonna do text align center and i'm gonna refresh the page voila you can see we have test one here and test two here so this is the function or this is the usage of bootstrap it allows you to quickly code things on your site so you're gonna see more about bootstrap in the future videos uh let's just add one more stop right here before we close this video i'm gonna give it a border not border width border style i'm gonna say um solid save it and refresh okay so um this actually tells us that we are able to use the bootstrap stuff and design things on our page so this is what i want to show you in this video and i hope you like it don't forget to click on that like button if you're new to our channel we do programming stuff right here so if you're interested in that you might consider subscribing and leaving us a comment I try to reply to all comments as much as possible. So see you in another video.